Welcome to the ProKitchen 3D Edge version 10.0.2 tutorial. In ProKitchen version 10.0.2, 3D Edge is now the default 3D viewer and it gives designers access to the ultimate 3D HD rendering power that will bring your designs to life like never before. See newly added soft shadows on wood cabinetry items, countertops, and floor textures that will enhance the realistic quality of your designs. Also added is the ability to adjust the floor texture between matte or glossy. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate just how these new features work. Let's get started. To render your design in 3D, select the 3D icon found in your top toolbar. Once your design opens in the 3D Edge Viewer and renders, navigate to the top toolbar and open the Render Settings sidebar select by selecting the gear icon. Use the Performance slider and set your 3D Edge Viewer to Quality. This will enable the new and improved soft shadows and ensure you have the most realistic image quality when you render your design. After adjusted, close the 3D Edge Viewer and wait 5 seconds for the new performance settings to take effect. Then, re-render your design in 3D Edge by clicking the 3D icon once again. Once rendered, select the Refine tool from the top toolbar to refine your image, enabling those new soft shadows and enhancing the image quality to the most realistic quality. You'll also want to adjust the disperse light depending on the amount of lights you have added to your design. Change the watt intensity to about 20 to 30 and you'll be able to see these new features clearly. Now, on the wood cabinet doors, we can see that it displays accurate soft shadows around the knobs and also under the rails. You'll also notice the accurate shadows of other objects casted onto the cabinetry items, such as the shadows of my bar stools casted onto the island back panel. Also, accurate shadows of objects casted onto countertop textures, like the shadows of my faucet and the shadow of the window grids casted onto my island countertop here. Lastly, you'll see new improved shadows on floor textures like the shadows of my bar stools and the shadows of my window casted onto the floor. In addition to floor shadows and reflections, version 10.0.2 brings designers a floor texture sheen slider that allows you to adjust the texture of your floor to be more matte or glossy. This new feature can be found in the Design Settings under the Texture tab. Exit the 3D Viewer and return to your plan view. Navigate to the top toolbar and select the gear icon to open your design settings. In the Design Settings dialog box, select the Texture tab from the left and scroll down to your floor texture. Directly under the Floor Texture option, you'll see the new Sheen slider. Left click and drag to move the slider to the sheen option you desire, and then click OK to save your design settings. Now, render your design in 3D once again and you'll see your new floor sheen setting in effect. And that's it! What spectacular design can you create and bring to life with ProKitchen 10.0.2?